you a solo that we didn't see each other. I don't know. I don't know. Very well. okay. oh. <laughs> so yeah, so today we are gonna have a really great video about one of the most popular religion in the world. Yeah, it is. It's the most, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About the Roman Church and how it's going on. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. I, I got this person who will tell me a lot about that. Yikes. <laughs> Is it you? Is it right? Okay. We'll see. We'll, we'll manage it. Yeah, yeah. If something go you know wrong, we'll say it. oh something going wrong by yeah. <laughs> somebody <laughs> this is gonna call me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Holly. Yes. Um as I know, now you're in I'm Catholic Church, mm -hmm. and but you started your story, and you wasn't born in the Roman Catholic Church. Is it true? That is true. How did you come to come here? <laughs> What's going on? Why am I here? Yeah, <laughs> please tell me the story. Um, so yeah, I was born um, at a Protestant family, and I grew up in the United States, and uh, yeah, like we we didn't go to church every week, but every be sometimes, you know, and like we talk about faith sometimes in our family. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, like after spending some time in Israel, I spent like three, was like three months there doing a fellowship in Jewish mm -hmm. Christian relations, and a lot of that was actually learning a lot more about Judaism and also seeing like the Jewish holidays being mm -hmm. celebrated because up there during like Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, oh. um, Sukkot, and like all those like high holidays, it was really interesting seeing them being celebrated and I was questioning why are these being celebrated, like where is oh. this in the Bible? Yeah. And um, as the more that I learned about Judaism and the more I was looking at like the Old Testament and the New mm -hmm. Testament, the more questions that I had about like, okay, like what does this mean for us Christians today? Because um, in the New Testament, Jesus says that he came not to abolish, but to fulfill. And like, what mm -hmm. does that mean? And what does that look like if he mm -hmm. came to fulfill the Old Testament? Mm -hmm. um, and so I had a lot of questions. <laughs> um, yeah, and it was really interesting because in my, my group that I was like studying and working alongside with, because we were in different high schools, like teaching English, and both like the Arab and the Jewish sector. So it was also like super, it was like super interesting yeah. um, cultural experiences. Um, anti-Jewing experiences. <laughs> um, my, one of my roommates was Catholic and she was also like a part of the same group and so it was really interesting to really like, ask her perspective on like some of the Jewish things and then how she's able to connect a lot of the Jewish things oh, great. with Catholicism and so I came back to America, I joined RCA, Random Christian Initiation for Adults, the class to learn about Catholicism. And I had a lot of questions, and I kept reading a lot and studying a lot. And mm -hmm. then after that, I was really, I was really convinced with the Catholic Church, and really convinced, yeah, mm -hmm. that like it's like the best great. fulfillment of the Old Testament. So okay, great. And yeah. um, you say that like you had a lot of questions. It's interesting that you just such place for you know mm -hmm. to get your answer from your questions, and you know maybe you had. You know, because I understand that you're coming from another Christian community, Protestant, mm -hmm. and to the Roman Catholic Church, and I'm thinking that what was like, um, like difficult for you between maybe was it different, and what maybe was it was difficult for you to change it, or it wasn't, you know, because maybe I'm thinking that. Like, as I know, in the US, they are different churches. Could you tell it? Yeah, so in, um, in the Protestant church, there's like, mm -hmm. I think there's between like 30 and 32,000 denominations. So there's oh, a lot of different lot. types. Yeah, a lot of it's different types lot. of church, a lot of different types of worshiping. And so mm -hmm. it's really interesting to see all the different ways like churches on. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, there, there's like the main denominations too, that like, oh, okay. there's like some main ones and then there's like the smaller ones. Um, so that's kind of what it's like in America. and. Yeah, I think a part of it was hard with like my family and like wanting to be able Yeah, there are things that like I'd want to be able to talk about but like would be either particularly Catholic and um and yeah, they would listen and like maybe have like they were very respectful too, because I was looking for my grandparents at the time and they were very respectful and they had respectful debate. Um and so I think that was really like good and healthy but there was like that I think it would have been really hard if my family had like disowned me or if my family mm -hmm. had 
had said like, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for converting. But I think um, like they don't agree with it, but that's okay that they don't agree with it. And like we have some good, like we have some good conversations about it. Yeah. And yeah. have that respect for one another still. It's really important for them to have respect for yeah. the decisions and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so for people who are only started the way of looking and you know to have a lot of questions, what will you recommend to do? Or maybe they don't have a question, they are yeah. just watching now and say, what's happening? <laughs> what's going on in this world? Yeah. I think like if you're if you're Protestant and you're questioning the Catholic Church, I think there's like a lot of really great resources online. Mm -hmm. Like um, yeah, I like I went to a lot of different things. Like um, I think one thing that really helped me there's like podcast like YouTube, um, Pranks of Aquinas. I listened oh. to it while I was like working, mm -hmm. um, and he's got a lot of really great things about the Catholic faith. Um, I was also like reading a lot. Actually, like when I was reading Bonhoeffer, who is a Protestant, mm -hmm. <laughs> or was a Protestant, when I was reading like um, Eric Metaxas's like book about him, it was really interesting because he also had a draw to Catholicism. Oh, and really? Like, his objections to Catholicism was interesting. Okay. Um, and yeah, and also going to like priests and deacons and asking them mm -hmm. questions and just like being like, hey, like, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. So like, you know, like, tell me more. Like, I want to have a conversation. And I think, yeah, just like having the openness to conversation. Because mm -hmm. like, I think the main Protestant things are like Mary and the Eucharist. But like, mm -hmm. Protestants are kind of like, oh, so like, and I get it. <laughs> And like even being like Catholic now, sometimes I'll still have feelings of like I'm going to confession. I'm like, this is so wrong. Even though like I'm very like theologically and like intellectually like, convinced of it. And I've seen the beauty of confession in my life too, and how like God's grace, like mm -hmm. seeing God's grace in a different way. But sometimes when I go, I'm kind of like, I'm like, oh. Also, <laughs> yeah. the Protestant feelings come back, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I think like just keep. Questioning. Also, like I was reading um, Rabbi Abraham Joshua Herschel. He's got a lot of he's got a lot of really great uh, philosophical works. Um, he's Jewish, but like, <laughs> but it's actually really interesting to read his writings, like on the Sabbath or like um, like between God and man. I think that title is that's actually what convinced me to take the step of converting to Catholicism. Mm -hmm. Actually, <laughs> oh, okay, so, okay. yeah. I know you say that you know, like give a lot of questions, like keep questioning you know, what what what's going on. And I'm thinking that it's important even if you're like a freshman about like belief mm -hmm. and even if you know it like from childhood or it's take a lot of time when you start this this way because it's uh, only when I'm giving questions, only then I can see the answers. And only then I can uh, like you know yeah, like that grow openness up. to an answer. Yes, to an answer, and you know, open to see that something is like mm -hmm. that. I'm not perfect. That nothing is perfect, yeah. and it's like really big, and it's really deep. And you know, as uh, as I know, like the Catholic Church, this you know, I'm young, but I understand that like whole church is like like whole Christian community is very deep thing and. It's not going to be stopping only you know in the three or ten years. Yeah, it's buried it lifetime. Yeah, lifetime. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking that like for people who like have their own way in belief, I really wish to look for and like to uh, keep searching and going deep. Of what do you believe and to get this truth that will be enough for you. God was so faithful because the whole time I was praying for a denomination mm -hmm. too, and like I thought it was going to be a Protestant denomination. I didn't think about Catholic, but <laughs> I don't know. God is funny sometimes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like yeah, always keep questioning, and mm -hmm. like our God loves questions because we're we're like as Christians. If you're Christian, we're called to live out like we're called to um, what is it? Uh, like not question, but to. Uh, love out our salvation with fear. No, it's like, um, oh, what's that verse? It's something like with our salvation with like, uh, oh, I can't remember it, darn it. Well, I'll put it in the comments. But that's oh, okay. Like a, those are like a verse that I always mention when I talk about my conversion to Catholicism because there is like this like a soul that we have with our faith and that we're mm -hmm. always supposed to like, our God loves questions, He loves want, like. Mm -hmm. That we can deeper understand him because he's so infinite. So instead, it's me or him. Yeah, yeah. So keep watching, guys, and we hope that you like it. So yes. maybe. Yeah.